I'm Fade, and I make videos about some weird stuff that I'm into. I'm going to make some weird shit. But this is not one of them. I thought I would start a new video series that would follow along my journey on trying to get my YouTube channel monetized. So if you're willing to follow along, uh, I've got a story. I got some analytics and I think I have a plan. I don't even believe you have a plan. I have part of a plan. I started my YouTube channel on October 13th, 2011, thinking that was what I was supposed to do in order to watch other people's YouTube videos. I don't know why I thought that. I didn't actually upload anything till like September of 2013 when we bought our first sailboat. I thought it would be a cool way to share videos of us sailing for the first time because our family didn't live here. And back then it was kind of hard to share videos that were that large over email. I took some videos and I posted them on the YouTube channel and I sent my family the links. And then I got an email from YouTube that hit me with a copyright strike. Yep, they said, you can't play music. And I was like, what music? We had the radio going on the sailboat while we were sailing. I realized really quickly, I had no idea what I was doing. And I was so scared of this copyright strike. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get sued. So I just set them both to private and just didn't think about it. 2000 years later. So nothing happened until January, 2022, when I stumbled upon this app in VR in the Oculus called Multiverse. It was pre-beta. So it's like, it wasn't developed yet. And the developers were still running around talking to people. It was in like its early, early stages. And there was a few other people that have stumbled upon this app. We were all running around, you know, trying to figure it out. And the devs were going, do you like it? We're like, well, we don't know. What is it? They're like, well, we don't know. What do you want it to do? And we're like, we have no idea. You tell us. So we started trying things like really thinking out of the box. And the more we discovered stuff, word would get around. You know, we teach each other how to do these things. And then more people started coming to the app and more people. And we got to where we were saying the same things over and over and over. So I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to make a tutorial of all the things that we're learning and like put those somewhere. Oh yeah, my, maybe I have a YouTube channel. I'll put them up there and then give people the link and say, if you want to see what we've learned, you know, go over here. I mean, it's kind of what I do for a living. You know, I work at a university and I teach people how to use technology. So I kind of threw that together and made some videos. And those, <laughs> to this day, those still have the most views of any video that I've put up there. I didn't ever get like a lot of views because it's a really small group of people. So there's not a big audience that, you know, was looking for this stuff anyway. But everybody really got a lot of good use out of it. And it made a lot of people really happy. And that gave me a lot of gratification. I started making more of them. And each one got a little bit better, but I still I didn't know what I was doing. But I, I thought, well, I didn't care. You know, it's such a small amount of people, it didn't really matter. I never really thought about monetizing my YouTube channel because I wasn't like some big corporation. And I mean, I'm 54, five, four, gosh, how old am I? I'm 54. Okay. I have dyscalculia, which makes it really interesting. And my husband played a joke on oh, this, my husband played a joke on me when I turned 47 he put 48 on my birthday cake. And I thought, I didn't know I was 48. Anyway, I went along with it for a whole year. I thought I was 48. And so then the next year, the birthday cake said 48. I said, wait, no, I'm 49. He goes, oh, no, that was just a joke. I just did that as a joke. I went a whole year thinking I was a year older than I was. So I've just, I've been screwed up ever, <laughs> ever since then. I've been screwed up. I don't know how old I am. You know what? And after 25, who cares? Anyway. So I'm a 54 year old lady who's close to retirement and I really didn't think I had anything, you know, interesting that people would clamor to YouTube to go watch. But then I started watching more and more YouTube. I realized really quickly that some people were getting views for the, just the craziest stuff. Like what washing fruit. Somebody just, 
set their camera on a sink and start washing fruit for 15 minutes. Who the hell watches? How does that get 15,000 views? I watched the whole thing though, because I was mesmerized and I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? Maybe, damn it, I can do a channel. I can do something. I can wash fruit. I mean, we get weird. I could wash it with my feet. I don't know. People will watch anything. I started digging in <laughs> and I started learning how to, you know, make a channel. And I have several YouTubers that I really like and I'm watching them. I connect with them because they're like real people. They're not like overly polished. And I kind of like that. And then I stumbled upon VidIQ, which is this, this group. They make some really good advice videos. And I started learning on how to make money, how to monetize. Oh, I had a lot to learn. There is a science to this. There's a lot behind it. The one thing that they all said was just hit record. Just go do it. Your first videos are going to suck. Okay. And they do. <laughs> they do. They suck pretty bad. But you're going to get better. I kind of noticed that when I started making those multiverse videos that each one got just a little better. And I would like stretch out and try to do something weird for each, you know, something I saw some other YouTuber do. I thought, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to do that. And so I watched a YouTube video on how to do that thing on a YouTube video. The other thing they all said was you got to find your niche, 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 niche. <sighs> Definitely an N word. I don't even know what that word is. How can I find it if I don't even know how to say it? You know, I've written it, but I've never like, anyway, I have zero clue what my, I'm going to go with niche because I like quiche. So we're going to go with niche. It's probably wrong. I'll figure it out after this. No idea. No clue what my niche is going to be. That's going to be part of my journey because I think that's what a lot of people struggle with. So here's where I'm at now. Just because I work in IT does not mean I have any videography experience or video editing experience. What I do right now is I have a webcam and I've got this, I got this cool little mic that I bought, the Shure MV7 Plus. It's pretty cool. I like the little lights on it. <laughs> I've been using Canva Pro. I actually bought a subscription. Canva Pro is not a video editing software, but by golly, I've been using it as one. <laughs> and I looked at ClipChamp. I'm trying to teach myself Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm taking baby steps with Adobe Premiere Rush instead because holy moly, mm. That's a lot. I'm watching YouTube videos. Thank you to all you YouTubers who are showing us how to use Premiere Pro because that's a booger. If you don't know about monetization, here are the rules from YouTube on how to get monetized. You have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 total watch hours in a 12 month period. And then you can be monetized. Let's take a look at what my analytics are right now. For the last 365 days, you can see from this drop down, we can choose a much different time frame to look at. But since the 365 days is the time frame in which monetization needs to happen, let's see where I need to go from right now. Uh, as of the last 365 days, I've got a total of 2,800 views, 49.8 watch time hours, and 42 subscribers. That's how many subscribers I've gained. You can see I have 129 total. So I've got some work ahead of me. If I were to change this drop down, let's go to the last seven days. Since my video series is going to be re releasing a video each week and seeing how that affects my analytics, let's just look at it from right now. I've got 35 views, 0.4 watch time hours, and I gained three subscribers. So here's my starting point. So I decided to make this video series, not only for myself, because I need to be held accountable because I will get so sidetracked, but also so I can look back over time at my journey because I know I'm going to have valleys and peaks. And I think every time I have a good time, it's going to be great to have that recorded so that all the times I have a bad time, I can go back and watch the good times. There may be 
someone like you who's in the same boat as me. And you're scared to push record and you're scared to get started because it sounds very daunting and it is. So maybe you are like me and you'll stumble upon someone who did it and they journaled it and it was super inspiring. And um, yeah, I hope I can do that for somebody else because someone did it for me. My plan is I'm going to do two videos a week on Sundays, I think probably Sundays. I'm going to do a video that shows what my stats are, what my analytics are, if I've gone up, if I've gone down, but for that week, what has happened. And then I'll also talk about how my learning is going with Premiere, if I learn any new tricks or anything or, or anything I gleaned from other YouTubers on how to make my videos better or how to get more viewers and that sort of thing, what I've learned. On like Wednesday or Thursday, I'm actually going to start the video series where I find my niche or something. Got a lot of things that I'm interested in. Uh, I guess we'll just throw them on the wall and see what sticks. I don't know. Anyway, if you're willing to go along with me on this journey, thank you. Consider subscribing to my channel because this is going to be some a comedy of errors. That's for sure. <laughs> Um, and hit the like, and I appreciate it. And if you want me to bug you all the time, hit that bell for notifications. And that way you'll see all my shenanigans. So we'll see. Thanks. Bye. I have a plan. <sighs> oh, no. I can't get anything done. <laughs> get out of here. Busy. Making money. I'm trying to anyway. Oh God, this is so awkward. How do I even start this?